in the last lecture we created the pagination provider and we also have paginated query method in our paginated provider so if i go to vs code we created this pagination provider and in there we have this paginate query method and wherever we want to implement the pagination we can simply call this method now in order to use this paginated query method in other modules like in preet module first of all we need to export this pagination provider from pagination module okay so in the pagination module we have this providers array where we are registering the pagination provider but we also need to export this pagination provider so for that we are going to use this exports array and from here we are going to export this pagination provider and when we are exporting it from here in that case the pagination provider can be imported in other modules now we want to use this pagination provider in tweet module so we will go to tweet module and there in the imports array we are going to import the pagination module because the pagination provider is present in the pagination module so here in the imports array we need to import pagination module so let's go ahead and let's import pagination module and import the pagination module we also need to import it from this file path so this is the second step then the third step will be to inject an instance of pagination provider in the service where we want to use it here we want to use the pagination provider in the tweet service so we are going to inject an instance of pagination provider in this tweet service before that let me go ahead and let me copy this tweet module.ts file and also this pagination module.ts file and for now let's also close this paginator interface okay i have a misspelling here but i'll keep it like this okay so now let's go ahead and let's inject an instance of pagination provider in this tweet service class and for that in the constructor we are going to create a private read only property and i'm going to call it as pagination provider you can name it anything but the type here is going to be pagination provider and in order to use this pagination provider we also need to import it from this file path let's save the changes and now since we have an instance of the pagination provider all we have to do is instead of tweet repository here we are going to use pagination provider and on that we are going to call paginate query method now to this paginate query method let me remove this and let's also remove these comments from here so to this paginate query method first we need to pass an instance of pagination query dto so that we already have here we have an instance of pagination query dto in this page query dto parameter so first we are going to pass that then we also need to pass the repository so the second argument is the repository so let's also pass the repository and here we are going to pass tweet repository so here we have the tweet repository we are going to pass it as the second argument so actually let me move it to separate line to make it more readable okay so as the second argument we are going to pass the tweet repository and here we should use this keyword so this dot tweet repository and the third argument will be the where clause so for the where clause here we are going to pass the where clause so here we want to find the users where id is equal to this user id okay so these are the three arguments which we need to pass from here let's save the changes let's go to pagination provider once and in here we are simply specifying skip and take so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a variable and i'll call it as find options okay this find options is going to be an object and this object is going to be of type find many options and in order to use it we need to import it from type orm and here it is going to be of generic type so this t can be user tweet comments etc in here i'm going to specify skip and take 
because for the pagination it is required then what i'm also going to do is i'm going to check if user has also passed a value for this where parameter so here i will check if where in that case on the find options we have a property called where which we want to set to this where parameter okay so this where is a property of this find options and this find options is of type find many options so there we have this property where and here we are checking if the user has passed any value for this where parameter because it is optional so user might not pass a value for this so if there is a value available for that then we are also going to set this where property and we are going to set it with the value which we have received for this where parameter okay and now instead of passing an object like this here we are simply going to pass this find options to this find method so here we have also modified this paginate query method a little bit so that we can also handle the where condition okay let's save the changes here and now let's go ahead and let's test the pagination functionality so currently we have only implemented it for tweet so from the tweet service we are calling this pagination provider and we are calling the paginate query method of the pagination provider in order to implement pagination for getting all tweets so let's see if this works or not let's go to postman and here from the request i am going to remove the start date and end date i'm only going to keep limit and page so for the limit let me set it to five and for the page let me set it to one and if i send the request we are getting the response so here we should only have first five tweets so we have first tweet second tweet and then we don't have any third tweet so we have a tweet with id 4 id 5 and id 6 now after this we should not have any tweet as you can see now if we request tweets for page 2 if i send the request here also we are going to get five tweets so we have tweet with id 7 we have tweet with id 8 we have tweet with id 9 10 11 and that's it and now if i set the page to 3 since we only have 12 tweets in our database now for the third page we should only get two tweets as you can see we have the tweet with id 12 and we have the tweet with id 13 so our pagination logic is working as expected as it was working previously when we implemented it only for the tweet service but now what we have implemented is so basically this logic this logic can be used on any entity we can use this pagination logic with any entity so for example let's go to users module and there let's go to user service .ts. there also we should have a method called get users i mean get all users so if we want to implement the pagination logic for get all users then that also we can do with the help of this pagination provider now here i am not going to do it myself but i'll give you as an assignment to implement a pagination logic inside this get all users method of this user service so here also what you can do is you can remove this relations object from here and you can just set eager on the entity level or what you can also do is you can modify this paginate query to also accept the relation so you can go in either way but as you can see this pagination logic is working as expected now the only thing pending is we want the response in a certain way whenever a user is requesting for a paginated data the response for that should look something like this currently the response which we are getting in the postman from the paginated query it is nothing like this there we are only getting the data but we do not have the meta or the links property in fact we do not have any data property also we are getting an array of all the tweets but in the response what we want we want the array of data and that should be stored in the data property we want this meta property where we should have some metadata and we also want to have this links property in the response where we can specify some important links let's see how we can achieve that 
in our coming lectures. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions from this lecture, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.